Comp, we connect organizations and individuals looking for a CPA uh, to local CPAs within their area. So, my background is I've been working with CPAs for a little over 10 years in, the, in a number of different organizations selling software, accounting software, and a lot of times, you know, after we went through what their needs were on the accounting, on the software side, you know, I'd ask them, what else can I do for you? And it, I found so many of them had the same response of, on the CPA side was, do you know anybody that, that's looking for a CPA that's, that specializes in nonprofits or local governments or, or HOAs? And, and on the nonprofit side, the same, same thing, I'm saying, we have an audit coming up. Do you know of any CPAs that specialize in our industry? And we heard it so much, we decided, we started testing and asking questions. If you had a place, you know, would that be beneficial to you? And that's how the first audit came about. So we have a single platform that really connects. So the pain that we found on both sides, what we, de we define as the CPA, the auditor, and then the auditee, which is any organization uh, needing an audit or accounting services, uh, we found that um, time and money, number one thing. So they, it's a very time consuming, very manual process, and it can be very costly to kind of reach out and kind of vet these different CPAs or organizations on really both sides of that organization. Uh, risk of having the wrong choice. So CPAs wasting time on frivolous RFPs as well as organizations you know, that may have a, you know, somebody that bids them, has a low bid, and they find out midstream that it's, you know, this person doesn't have any experience uh, auditing or working with, with their exact industry. And then really lack of insight. So both organizations, the auditor, the auditee going in and really having no insight saying, hey, I don't really even know where to start as an auditee. You know, um, I, you know I, I just basically pick up the phone book. Or, or on the CPA saying, hey, we have 11 clients. If two of them don't choose us this year and leave us, we really have no pipeline. We're, we're really at the mercy of who walks into the door. And on the right-hand side, just to kind of scope out the marketplace. So um, what is an audit? So an audit really is a review, the, the very simple version, is a review of your financials with an opinion at the end, right? With an opinion expressed by the CPA. So it's a, uh, it's a very laborious process um, and really is, is dictated by governance from uh, some type of governing body or some type of compliance. So um, we're going to exclude all SEC, all publicly traded companies, because the top four CPA firms own that market. So when somebody leaves, when Coca-Cola chooses a new auditor, they go from PwC to Deloitte. So they really have that market. So we're talking... Uh, small businesses, other type of industries. And I kind of mentioned right up here, these are very quantifiable industries right through here that, that are mandated, that have to have audits. Um, municipalities, local governments, so there's 90,000 here, here in the country that have to have uh, an audit every year. Uh, nonprofits, there's about 1.5 uh, million nonprofits. There's a number of different reasons that nonprofits have to have, um, have an audit for different uh, compliance. One is, uh, you know, if they receive over 750,000 in federal funding, they have to have 26 states mandate just to be active, they have to have an audit. I was talking to um, Free Medical Clinic down on Harden Street, their, their director, and he said, when we, our first four months of revenue go to pay for the audit just to open our doors. So a very substantial part of their budget, just to be operational, just to be able to uh, take in a new client, goes to just to pay for that audit to, to, to be operational. So really just kind of scoping that, that opportunity here. So what we do, we provide a single platform for both parties to be able to meet. So again, saving time and money to both areas. So the research that we've done, we've seen that the, the savings to both sides, the auditee, the auditor, the time savings to both sides, the lowering the risk, to be able to vet and see, and to, to look into each, uh, to see what CPAs are, are working with each organization, as well as for CPAs to be able to forecast and see a pipeline and have clients coming through. This is why our Sam has built a website to where it's very, the feedback that we're giving, it's very clean, it's very user friendly. We wanted to make it very simple. So when you step in, either side, the auditee, the auditor, it's really a three step process. Register, if you're an auditee, upload your RFP, upload, upload whatever you're looking for really sit back and you determine if, if you want the, the CPAs to contact you directly or through our website. So really just sit back and determine uh, and wait for the, uh, the, uh, the contact.
context. Same as the CPA. Register, update your profile, and then go out and look at the RFP. So very clean, very simple. Um, we're rolling out first just on the audits. We're down the road, we'd like to, and I'll speak about it in a minute, uh, expand the scope out the tax. Right? So audits take up uh, the ASCPA reports that audit auditing um, for CPA firms make about 45% of their revenue from audits. Right? It's a, there's an RFP process, it's very easy, easier to capture market than tax, but that's another market down the road we'd like to move, expand our scope into. Um, we actually are the only ones that offer not only a directory that anybody accessing our, our website can go in and access over 15,000 accountants and CPAs in the directory. You see, and you can filter through. Um, is that my time? 30 seconds. 30 seconds. <laughs> All right. Goes quick. Go quick. <laughs> so our revenue model, it's a subscription model on the CPA side. So it's basically, for the audits, it's a free service uh, for the CPAs to actually, they can go in for free, update their profile for free, be on the directory for free. But to see the actual um, RFP information, uh, it's, a, um, it's a subscription process. Our market plan, we have a niche market of going after CPA firms that already have a marketing directory. So they see the, pro the, uh, the value in going after, we see that kind of as our low-line fruit. And then we've, we've identified a number of different CPA firms nationwide that, uh, that focus directly on audits. Our main competitor is Google, right? It's a manual search process. There's a couple others that are out there um, that, that have smaller areas. Uh, that what we do, but not a full comprising uh, database and directory. Um, I'm going to let Sam introduce himself in a minute. These are our uh, next three year projections. Uh, we're growing, it's a projection of starting off with uh, about 20 subscribers next month and then growing at about a 20 25% growth rate. Uh, really expands only about 10 CPAs, 10 clients to about 30 clients a month. It changes throughout the month, but it gives you kind of a forecast on total subscription versus our cost and what we uh, see as annual growth. And so, um, where we are right now, we have about a little under 300 RFPs in our system, about 60 uh, CPAs registered. We, we kind of targeted a couple states across the country. We really haven't launched too much. So we've been changing the website out. Um, and then, really, we want to grow by having a, a, a ranking system, um, really expand the scope. Of the services that uh, CPAs can offer via a CRM tool for CPAs. That's it. That's your time. That's it. Thanks. <laughs>